A lot of people think that spiritual awakenings have something to do with you know, suddenly seeing the light and suddenly having this permanent connection with God or divinity or all-knowingness or samadhi in the Eastern traditions. Sometimes that's happened to people, but for most of us, a spiritual awakening is a slow-moving, powerful force. And you know that you're having one if you're getting waves of becoming very aware of parts of yourself that you're not proud of, parts of yourself that you feel shame about, parts of yourself that have operated in a selfish or frightened way in the past. And you're awakening to the nature of what's been driving you for most of your life. And one kind of crude way of thinking about it is imagine you're driving through a muddy forest road all night long and you can't see the outside of your car you just are moving ahead and then the sun comes up and you get to your destination and you climb out of the car and you realize there's not only is there mud everywhere first that's all you see but after you clean the mud off, you see a lot of scratches and dents from, you know, hitting branches and stuff as, as you're passing through the forest. And so you wouldn't judge the condition of the car. You wouldn't get angry at the car. You would understand that that was the vehicle that was getting you from A to B. And now that you're at point B, you have a chance to clean up the car before you <laughs> go back into the city to your next spot. So in spiritual awakening, it's a chance for the light of awareness, the light of understanding, the light of knowledge to shine on our vehicle because our behaviors and our lower nature, our addictions, our attitudes, those things are not us. Those are things that have been moving us from A to B for a long time. In the same way as that the car is not us. We're the one who's experiencing the ride through the forest on the inside of the car. And so in spiritual awakening, if you're finding yourself coming face to face with a lot of things that feel heavy, memories that feel very uncomfortable to feel, then you're in a great place. That means that your soul is ready to look at what needs to be looked at. There's perfect timing to all of this. If it was five years ago, you'd still be in the middle of the forest. There's still, you know, forest roads that your soul wanted to experience in the dark. But now that phase of life is complete for you. And now you're in a phase of understanding, of observing, maybe you're re-experiencing um, some of these things. And it can feel like sometimes oh my goodness like this stuff is like getting the volume turned up on it I thought I was over this you know I, w I thought that this kind of negative quality I dealt with years ago I haven't noticed it for a long time why is it back and what's wrong with me what have I done wrong you haven't done anything wrong it's what you've done right <laughs> you've made it to point B and it never really went anywhere it's been with you the whole time for me, I've had a theme most of my life that has to do with fear and being frightened, feeling terror. That was one of the first things I felt as a child. And so it's kind of weaved its way through my life, through my early life, even my teen years. And then in my later teen years and 20s, it seemed to go away. You know, I operated from my 
my outward mask, my facade, my skills, my charisma. I operated from these things and I didn't feel the fear so much. And I guess I thought it was gone. I didn't even think about it. And then in spiritual awakening, it has cropped up in a very powerful way so many times where at first I thought, what's wrong with me? You know, am I regressing? Am I going backwards? But I understand now that it was always there in the background. I just kind of pushed it into my subconscious. I had so much going for me in the material world that I didn't need to worry about it too much. In spiritual awakening, the veil is lifted somewhat between our conscious waking life and the forces that we've pushed into our subconscious. So at first it can be really uncomfortable to re-experience things like that. But when you understand that they never went anywhere, they've always been there, and right now they're coming back one by one for you to make peace with, for you to understand better, for you to observe, maybe re-experience, so that you can learn everything that needs to be learned about those qualities or those topics. And once you've gained all of that understanding, they will fizzle out. They don't have a purpose anymore. And eventually you'll be able to come alongside other people who are in the thick of those things that have passed through you fully. And if you have a theme of your life, like I, I mentioned fear has been a theme for me. If you know your themes, having patience with yourself, it's not like a theme is gonna pop up into your, your new spiritual awareness and you're gonna deal with it in one week. Yeah, miracles do happen and some people do find that they are you know, suddenly very free from these things. But in general, they take months or years to really make sense of, to really get resolved. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with a person that's taking a long time to move through one of these life themes. What it does mean is that that life theme has a lot of information, has a lot of energy, has a lot of charges and different ways of being looked at kind of like a diamond with all the different facets and edges and your soul wants to really take the time and space to have a really great understanding of that theme before before it's completely dissolved before it's finished so if you are in a spiritual awakening continue to put one foot in front of the other and know that you wouldn't be here unless your soul was ready to see what needs to be seen. And that what you're doing is shadow work. You're bringing forward charges, themes, qualities, regrets, memories from your subconscious that have been hidden in order to make peace with them. And, and you're noticing where they have been driving forces in decisions that you've made. They've been driving forces in the ways you've been showing up in the world, kind of from the background. And now they're, they're right front and center. And so when you notice what those themes are and how they've been driving you, then you have the opportunity to choose something else. You know, what's a step up from fear? What's the opposite of fear? You know, love and trust. So. Now in the future, I have the opportunity to make decisions from a place of love and trust, whereas before maybe I would contract in fear or I would procrastinate in fear. That's just an example for me. So think about your themes and then think about how you might wanna show up instead, even a small change. This is real spiritual awakening.